Hi, my name is David B. Martin. I'm a product owner for CA Technologies, and this video, From Slow to Know, is a discussion of how to use CA Blaze Meter and APM together in the cloud to load tests and look at the performance of your applications. In this video, I'm going to cover how to set up a load test, link it to APM, review the results of APM and Blaze Meter statistics side by side inside of Blaze Meter, and then drill into APM to look at the details behind a slow transaction. Let's start by creating a test in BlazeMeter. I've logged in. I can click to create a test. I want a JMeter test. This is the configuration screen for the test. I can easily add a new file by clicking the plus sign. And then I have my file ready here to drag and drop into BlazeMeter. Once the file is loaded, I can change the total number of users and the duration of the test. My test only needs to last five minutes. I'll set the ramp up time to zero seconds. Right here is the origin of the test, US East Virginia. I'm gonna switch this to US West Oregon to have the clients come from a different location. And then here in the APM integration, I can click CA Technologies, ask for the two-way integration. I actually already have a profile set up, but just to show you what's involved, you get a token from your APM administrator. It's easily generated in the APM UI. You cut and paste your tenant's URL into the CA APM URL. And for SAS, you can put 443 and 443 for the ports. And that's it. Now over here, the default name for the test is March 15th, 10.47 AM. I'm gonna change this to something a little more interesting. I'm gonna say thieves, US West Oregon, the origin of the test clients. And then by convention, I'm gonna say by blaze meter. This tells us the origin of the transactions when they arrive in APM. I'll run the test, launch the servers, and let's come back in a minute when the test is running. All right, the test is now running. In order to see the integration with APM, click on the timeline report tab. In the list of KPIs that pops up on the left, you'll find all of the usual BlazeMeter KPIs, but at the bottom, there's a new CAAPM arrow. You can walk down this arrow to find and select metrics. I've selected the average response time of the search transaction because I want to overlay it with the average response time being collected by BlazeMeter. So in the graph at the right, you're seeing the client side and the server side response time of the search transaction. In APM, you can actually follow the transactions through the infrastructure that's being monitored by the APM agent. If I open up this node that was automatically created by the integration, Thieves US Oregon by BlazeMeter, remember that was the name of our test, each of the test transactions are represented here, purchase, view, search. So the search transaction that we focused on, we can follow through the infrastructure, through the servlets and to the backends and web services that it was calling. In addition, by clicking on the search transaction name, we'll see a business transactions tab in the lower left, and we can pull up any x-rays or transaction traces that we took associated with that transaction. So here we can see all the different layers that were called through the custom code and out to this back end. The back end was the bulk of the seven seconds that were spent on the transaction. If you click on the metric browser tab instead of business transactions, you'll get a pop-up tree of all of the information that APM is collecting, including concurrent invocations or stall counts. Those can be important when an application is under heavy load. In APM SAS, you can also switch from the map to the metric view. Inside the metric view, you get a familiar tree of metrics, including all the metrics associated with your test. Again, the name automatically from the test case in BlazeMeter and the transactions underneath. APM also features an experience view. An experience view lets you create a tile to talk about your test cases. So I can select by attribute the business service, which is going to be the test case name, and the business transactions. Those are under transaction name. I'll name this card BlazeMeter Thieves Tests and save it. And now my experience view has a tile that summarizes all of my tests when I drill into the tile, I can see the different tests that I ran, 
Again, Thieves U.S. West by Oregon. There could be multiple runs here. Here's a Thieves U.S. East Virginia by Blaze Meter. If I drill into Oregon, here are the individual test cases. And this is going to give you a summary of the performance of those test cases. On the right, you'll see that there's also assisted triage output. If we detect any anomalies during your test, or in production for that matter, they'll show up here and you'll be able to drill into them as well. Here at CA Technologies, we understand how difficult the continuous delivery and testing problem is, and we're here to help you with this new marriage of BlazeMeter and APM. In five minutes, I showed you how to set up a test, integrate it, run it, and then look at the side-by-side -side client and server statistics, both in the BlazeMeter interface and in the APM interface. In APM, you can look at a map of the transactions, you can look at the metric data associated with them, transaction traces of where they spent their time, all the latest features, even the tiles that summarize the different test cases for you. I hope you enjoy.